In this video, we will continue with the cosecant, secant and cotangent graphs. You will find this on page 438 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example and this is a typical exam example. By sketching a suitable pair of graphs, show that the equation cosec x equals 3 minus x where x is in radians has only one root in the interval, interval between 0 and a half pi. Okay, now you have to first sketch this graph and this graph. Remember, there's the one equation and there is the other equation. So basically, the one equation is I just put a y in front and the other equation I just put a y in front. Okay, now, it's very, very, just like you memorize the basic graphs of um, sin, cos, and tan. It's very good to have these pictures in your mind. Can I just show you the basic ones? So, um, I'm just going to do it in white. And I'm get, this is now very rough. But you have to memorize that. And it's also um, in the summary on page 469 in the textbook. Okay, so basically... Um, I just, if, I, if I'm thinking, okay, let's just write down it, it's, um, let me just give you, this is y equals cosec x. This is y is equal to sec x. And this is y is equal to cot x. So you must have these pictures in your mind. Cosec, don't forget, this is the sin, this is the cos, this is the tan reciprocal. Okay, now if I come to the cosec, this one is actually because there is 180, now let's just make it in the middle, there is 180, there is 360. Okay, so basically, and that can also be in radians, um, I basically just know, and you have to memorize that, my asymptotes is going to be, oh, let's just go, it's going to be here. Just, oh, my ruler is not nice now. Okay. It's going to be here. Let's take a ruler and here. And this is the very nice one. It's the reverse of the sin. Can you remember the graph? I said, this is the one, and don't forget that you also have to mark, say, for example, there is 1 and there is negative 1. And then the graph will look like this. It's very nice, so it will just be uh, the lowest point will there be at 1. The highest point will be there at negative 1. Okay, so don't forget, this is pi. Let me just write it in. This is pi, and this is 2 pi, or 360. So, memorize that. And then also, when you come to this one, then the picture that must be in your mind, again, I'm going to show you, but now it's not at 180, the asymptotes, and, but I just show you this. The asymptotes was actually at 90, okay? It was here in the middle, okay? And it was at 270, again in the middle. So that's how you to memorize, because this is the reciprocal of the cos. And then the graphs were looking like this. It's almost like a half of, okay, I forgot again, to mark 1 and to mark negative 1, because it's not going lower. So, and then it was again doing this, and then it was doing this, and then it was doing this. Oh, sorry, it must not come so low. Okay, and that's the graph. And then don't forget the last one. I um, you mark also, which you memorize, and please, you must memorize that. It's just going to help you. Um, so this is again pi. And this is 2 pi. And now the asymptotes is again just like the cosec. It's going to be at pi. And it's 2 pi. And remember, it's almost like a reverse. So it's going to be, okay, it's going to cut there, the graph. And it's cutting there. So it's like it's going, the asymptote is actually also, uh, can I just show you? Sorry, I, I want to just include this. Asymptote was there also, asymptote was there also, there it was wider. Okay, 
So basically, my graph will now just look like this. Oh, sorry, I lost. Okay, and then it will look like this. Okay. Okay, and then it will look like this. So don't forget that picture. So if I see now this one, I can quickly say this is reflecting to this one. Okay? So basically, it's just going to be up to there, that part up to there. I can also use a table, okay, but not necessary. And then, uh, so this is the one, uh, graphing this cuts the x-axis, it's always the best, um, um, and substitute, stop, because it's only up to there, you just want to see this point also. So substitute pi over 2 in the equation. So if you substitute that in, then you're going to get 1.4. Can I just show you? If you're going to, because the equation was y, I think you use another color, it was y equals 3 minus x. So if I substitute pi over 2 in the place of x, so it's going to be 3 minus pi over 2. So take your calculator and just press on your calculator 3 minus bracket, I'm just going to say shift, pi divide 2, close the bracket, equals, and I'm getting 1.4, and that was in the 1.4 there, do you see, there, okay, so I plot that point, and then I just draw the graph, and I see, uh-uh, because that one comes to negative 1, and that's 1.4, so I can say the number of roots of the equation refers to the number of points of intersection of the graphs, so only one root in the interval between these two. And that's how you do it. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now free. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just go on. By sketching a suitable pair of graphs, show that the equation cot x equals 4x minus 2, where x is in gradients, has only one root in the interval. Okay, now, what is my two graphs? So, I'm going to say the one is cot x. And the other one is 4x minus 2. And it's only, again, in this interval. So, again, I want you to take your, remember this cot one? Can you take, see the previous page? So, cot this is pi, so pi over 2 will be there. So it will be this, this movement that it make here. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so basically, if I'm, if I'm going to look at this, I'm going to start and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to first make my graph. Okay, this one I know. I can just quickly check this one. It cuts the y-axis. And as soon as you make x0 there, you can see, if you make x0, that's very easy, then it's 2. So it cuts the y-axis at 0 and negative 2. Okay. And then it cuts um, intersect. Um, okay, let's just see. At pi over 2, okay, then I'm going to say in the place where x, sorry, x equals pi over 2, so in the place of x, I'm going to put that pi over 2, minus 2, okay, so then I'm going to just say, so it's 2 pi, so 2 multiply shift pi equals minus 2 equals, so y is equal to 4.3. Point three. Okay, so the coordinate point, don't forget, is pi over 2 and 4.3. Now, I can make my grid. So take your ruler, make one centimeter spaces, and then just take a line and basically just draw that. Okay, it's 4, 
Um, and, it's, and, and don't forget how the cut one looks. It's also on top. So everything will be on top. So we can basically just draw it like this. Then I can just number it. Zero. And then it's going to be... Oh, okay, now let's, let's going to be... Um, I'm going to make it a little bit wider. So because I'm going to make it pi over 2 there. Okay, and then I'm just going to re remember, and if I go back, I want to, okay, then I'm going to first just make it one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the previous page, and I'm just going to look, where is the asymptote? Can you see it's, it's going there? At pi 2, it's zero, so it's not, it's coming from this asymptote. So... I'm going to, if I draw that graph, it's just going to look like this. Okay, remember that's the asymptote. Okay. It's going to be up to there. Okay. And now I'm going to plot this one. Now don't forget, it's zero and negative two. So let's make it 0 and negative 2. And uh, this and 4.3. 4.3. Okay. And then I basically just going to take my ruler. Oh, 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 I made a mistake. 0 and negative 2. I realized it now. Sorry. That one was correct. This one was negative 2. Negative 1. Negative 2. Okay, now I'm correct. So 0 and negative 2 and 4.3, say 4.3 is there. And then I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to just make it there. And then this one is going to be y is equal to 4x minus 2. This one is going to be y is equal to cot x. And now what is the question? Uh, has only, okay, by sketching a suitable pair of graphs, show that the equation has only one root. In. So, therefore, and you can only say or answer, therefore, only one root, okay, uh, one point of intersection, therefore, uh, one root in the interval sorry I'm just oh sorry no, I don't want to move in the interval I just have to in, in the interval x zero and smaller than y over two something like that and that's how you do it.